Welcome. This afternoon we're gathered together for a very special and joyous occasion, and that is to witness and bless the joining of Mark and Sandra in marriage. Marriage is a beautiful relationship between two people. It's a union founded on love. Mark, if I could ask you to take your bride's bouquet, please, and just place it on the rock, and then I'll have the two of you join both of each other's hands facing each other. And I ask you to join hands as a symbol of the union that you're making here today. And I want you to think about the hands that you're holding. Because these are the hands of your very best friend holding your hands on your wedding day, promising to love you and work with you as you build your future together. These are the hands that will give you strength when you need strength, tenderness when you need tenderness, and love when you need love. These are the hands that will also hold all of whom you love. And these are the hands that through your lifetime together will wipe tears of sorrow from your eyes, but hopefully many, many more tears of joy. And these are the hands that years from now will still be searching for your hands, still seeking the love, encouragement, and support that each of you will give to one another. All of these things have brought you right here to Valley of Fire, to the beautiful Seven Sisters, all ready to say your marriage vows to one another. And it's important to understand that these vows cannot be made lightly, and I know the two of you realize this. These vows need to be made with a great deal of consideration and respect. With that thought in mind, Mark, I have a question for you. Do you take Sandra to be your wife, to live together in marriage, to love her, comfort her, honor and keep her in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to her as long as you both shall live. Then please repeat after me. I, Mark, take you, Sandra, to be my wife. Take you, Sandra, to be my wife. To have and to hold from this day forward. To have and to hold from this day forward. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. I promise to be your true and loyal husband. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And Sandra, are you ready to say your marriage vows? Then I also have a question for you. Do you take Mark to be your husband, to live together in marriage, to love him, comfort him, honor and keep him in sickness and in health, and forsaking all others, be faithful only to him as long as you both shall live? I do. Then please repeat after me. I, Sandra, take you, Mark, to be my husband. I, Sandra, take you, Mark, to be my husband. To have and to hold from this day forward. Forward. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. I promise to be your true and loyal wife. And to love and honor you always. And to love and honor you always. I do this because. I do this because. I love you today. I love you today. I will love you tomorrow. I will love you tomorrow. And I will love you forever. And I will love you forever. Perfect. And now, if you can each hold one another's wedding ring for a moment, we'll talk about the rings. Throughout time, the wedding ring has been a symbol of unending love because like time, your rings have no beginning and no end. They're a circle. They're the emblem of eternity. They're also made of metals that are least likely to tarnish. These things symbolize the pledges you just finished making to one another. But above all else, your wedding rings will now be an outward and visible sign signifying to all the uniting of this man and this woman in marriage. Mark, please place Sandra's ring on her finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Sandra, I give you this ring. Sandra, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Go ahead and slide it all the way up. Perfect. It's not going anywhere. Sandra, <laughs> please place Mark's ring on his finger. Hold it there and repeat after me. Mark, I give you this ring. Mark, I give you this ring. As a symbol of my love. As a symbol of my love. And as a reminder. And as a reminder. That I have chosen you. That I have chosen you. To be the one. To be the one. To share my life. To share my life. Go ahead and slide it all the way up. Wow. <laughs> all the way. <laughs> a little help's okay. Shoe it's on. hard on a warm day. <laughs> <laughs> Perfect. And then Mark, go ahead and give Sandra her bouquet back, and then I'll have the two of you kind of face this way. There you go. 
In just a moment, I'm going to pronounce you husband and wife. Before I do that, I'd like to say a couple brief things about marriage. They're brief. They're probably things the two of you know, but they're good things to keep in mind during your marriage. Marriage is being a love for the rest of your life. It's love walking arm in arm with your very best friend. It's thinking of new things to do together. It's laughing about the silly things in life with care and tenderness. It's trusting each other even though from time to time the two of you may be very far apart. It's getting over disappointments and small hurts knowing that these are present from time to time in every relationship. It's the realization there's no one else in the world you'd rather be with. Certainly no one else you'd rather be married to. It's growing all together. But most of all, marriage is being a love for the rest of your life. Mark and Sandra, you've said your marriage vows to one another, witnessed by those of us here today. You've sealed those vows with the giving and the receiving of the wedding rings. So now it's my very great honor to pronounce you husband and wife. And Mark, you may kiss your bride. And congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Mark Reynolds. You are married. One more kiss.